Hey, hello. Today we're listening to Dinosaur Junior. If, if you didn't see my last video, we listened to Dinosaur Senior, and that was a and that was a great review. Doing something a little different. I want. I, I was going back in my recommendations, and I really wanted to see the shit that I was putting off for a significant amount of time. And this and this is one of them. It's gonna be another Blind album. We're gonna be going into this Blind. I know nothing about this. I went out of my way to make sure I knew nothing about this just besides what was in my comments. Typically when it comes to the albums that I've, I've been putting off for a long period of time, I end up liking them the most. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe. I love you. Feel free to drop your recommendations down in the comments. Uh, the uncut video is over on my Patreon. Go check that out if you want. If you want, we're gonna hop right in. Forgive me for the hats. I was supposed to schedule a haircut. They didn't pick up the phone. They didn't pick up the phone. It's, it's cool though. It's cool though. It's cool. Oh, my tambourine is going crazy. That started off a bit rougher than it ended up going into. I was really scared in the first 10 seconds, but the way we kind of got into that song was insane. Getting some like slacker rock shit, like kind of like a something off that Pavement album. But the vocals are so smooth on that. I think I think the vocals on that were so catchy and melodic. Definitely my favorite part. And I, I think automatically I'm going to be returned to that song a bunch of times. I think I was listening to the melody so much that I was kind of, you know, my mentally, I was go I was getting away from the lyrics, but it seems to me like he's got beef with, with like a rabbit a little bit. Um, yeah, we're going to we're, we're going to see what, what we can cling on to in the next song because I, I didn't get anything there, but maybe he's just going down, going down a dark road. Interesting. Interesting start. Oh, I like this lead in. Does that count as a transition? Does that count as a transition? All right. Okay. Free my man. It seems like he's locked up for something. He but he he paid his. He, it seems like he he paid his price. You know. It seems like he deserves to be free. So set set my man free. I know what he did, but that shit was crazy. So guitar solo. All right. And you know a solo is gonna be good when it has its own fucking segue into it. That guitar solo literally sounds like trying to tame a cat. Trying trying to tame a lion. It seems like the guitarist was in the studio. And all of a sudden, his his guitar just turns into a fucking feline, and it just starts 
just trying to scratch at it. Let's get number three now, which is a Sludge Feast. Damn. So lyric-wise, it seems like he's just calling on to this girl's attention, trying to get her back, saying, hey, I've grown up and I'm a better person. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. And the bridges are just going absolutely crazy on it. That guitarist is not fucking around. Crazy song, though. Love that one. Let's get number four now, which is The Lung. Oh my god. Oh my, yeah, this is, this is not leaving, like, listen, these guys are not leaving anything out of the tank on all these songs. I, I was expecting to have already heard my favorite guitar solo on track two, but that was incredible. It seemed like he was actually fully in control of that motherfucker. But I love the way that that track started instrumentally, kind of giving, you know, the drums and the guitar its space for a second until he kind of came in. I like how the vocals kind of played the back, the background priority throughout the throughout the grounds of that and just kind of structured the instrumental pretty well now let's get number five now which is raisins <laughs> What 
the fuck? What is this? This guitar, this guitar is just not stopping. This guitarist is just not stopping on these fucking solos. Um, it seems like another heartbreak song. I don't know what that has to do with raisins. Maybe a, a, a raisin is a dead grave, so maybe you know he just feel, feels like he, he he's having the life, the juice sucked out of him. So he's the raisin now. Maybe that's how he feels. The way that the way this is going right now, I don't expect this to miss at all. I don't expect it to miss uh, even a little bit. Uh, let's get number six now, which is Tar Pit. <laughs> This kind of hurts. Let's dial it down a little bit. This kind of hurts a little. Sounds like someone just fucking ate that song in the end. Just fucking ate it. Not my favorite kind of sound. Not my favorite kind of sound. If you like that, you like that. But not my favorite kind of sound. I, 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 his uh, vocals are really um. His vocals are really woozy over that. Which I mean, I kind of liked a little bit. And I think that the, the guitar solo is uh, also just shocking every time it comes in because it's never the same kind of sounding solo. There's always a different kind of something to it. But the sound of that, the sound of that was just. In general, kind of my least favorite, but I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. Let's get into number seven, which is in a jar.
maybe this person's kind of, you know, feeding him. He's kind of relying on them a little bit. Like a parasite relationship taking place. I mean, that's, that's what it kind of looks like on the cover. Love that song a lot. Love that song a lot. It's going number eight now, which is Lose. What was that? The words that really got me was when he said um, that he was chained to this corpse for one more day. It seems, it seems like he is genuinely an outsider genuinely an outsider to what his whole human experience is and that's that that's sad he mentions he mentions jesus on the end there about just trying to understand about just trying to understand about what is going on about all the shit that's taking place let's get into number nine now which is paletto what the fuck What the fuck? I'm a little freaked out. All right, so we're going through a little bit of a crisis. So the conclusion here, but the, there, there is one more song here, but the conclusion here, it seems, like, it seems like maybe nothing is real. And all we got to do is try to understand the world and maybe understand its, its intentions towards us. But it's, it's, it's a kind of negative attitude towards it. I mean, you, you can say that in a positive message. You could. Especially at the end of that, too, when, when his vocals kind of cut out and all, all we were hearing was kind of like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I was like a synth. I don't know what kind of... Okay. Please, a kiss to her. 
what was the vocal lettering on that part? fuck oh it just ended it ended on the fucking scream so it, it sounds like this whole positive experience that he's having with the girl is maybe just fake and imaginary in his head because it seems like in the beginning that you know it, it is a true love story you know it is fucking reciprocated because a lot a lot of the times on this album it's not reciprocated and maybe that's how he kind of refers it to heaven a little bit because that's the only thing that he feels that's heaven in this world I'm interested as to, you know, what a lot of the religious connotations mean about this album, because as we delve deeper, it seemed like Jesus was kind of being mentioned on almost every song and kind of maybe asking him questions and asking him why this is all happening to him, why he's suffering this experience and why he has to feel these emotions toward this girl. But yeah, love that one. I feel like that, that, might, have been my, that might have been like my favorite song. Just the way those solos came after the verses and the way the guitars kind of blend together in the beginning of the song made it very great for me or made it very special maybe it's his love that's kind of just stuck on his mind and stuck living all over him and he kind of carries it like another person carries it like it's a burden on him so it seemed like towards the end he got he had a little glimmer of hope but it might have been swiped away at the last second a lot of existential questioning on that one towards the very end there that was probably the more the, that was a very terrifying song i haven't heard a terrifying song like that in a minute but that was a terrifying one our uh, favorite song is probably let me look at this um Funny Little Things, Cracked, The Lung, Raisins, In A Jar. That, ni that ninth song I did like. Even though, it was, even though it was terrifying, I knew what it was going for. I liked it a lot. And then the last song is probably my favorite one. If you want me to listen to any more things by Dinosaur Jr. or Senior, feel free to let me know. Drop it down in the comments. I like you. And yeah, uh, have a good one.